So interesting topic today, guys. I don't know if you guys remember, but um, our air conditioning system at the mansion has been a little out of whack. Um, my dad was in town and we kind of went through it together and our cooling tower, um, which is basically a big commercial unit, it's like a $5,000 freaking waterfall essentially. Well, the fan motor on top broke. So, you know, we just, we're kind of figuring, okay, the fan broke, let's go get a new one. So, turns out the fan motor for that is $1,500. So, I'm waiting to hear back if it has a warranty. Because for $1,500, the dang thing better have a warranty of at least, like, three years. I mean... If I gotta buy a new one every three to five years, okay. You know, $500 a year, I guess. It's bull crap, but you know, you do what you gotta do, essentially. So, I haven't heard back from them yet. It'll probably take a couple days, cause it took several days to get the info. So, I'm literally driving into town to buy a box fan. Now, hear me out. All the fan does is it turns on every now and then. It doesn't run constantly. It turns on every now and then and just shoves air really fast, really hard through this cardboard kind of stuff. And it makes the water evaporate a little bit. It's basically like a, an, an evap cooler. And as it evaporates, it makes the, the material, like the cardboard, cold. Which then the new water that drips through that doesn't evaporate, that water is cooled, drops into the, the holding tank, and then it's cold. So... What we're gonna do is I'm just gonna buy a cheap like $18 box fan and I might buy like two or three of them just to see how long they last. But I'm just gonna literally go outside and I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna leave it on. So there'll be a box fan running on it and I'm gonna try it on high. Uh, I'll get one of like the $20 box fans, you know. I don't have to worry about it tipping over. It's gonna lay straight down and shove air straight down. Um, my real worry with it is that it gets wet from steam and rain and basically fries itself. But again, at $20, do the math, I can buy a whole lot of box fans for $1,500. Um, a whole lot. So, I mean, at $20, that's five. I can literally, yeah. I can buy, if I had to buy 25 box fans a year, and the other motor lasted three years, I could buy 25 box fans a year and still be okay. That literally equals like one every two weeks. I, I don't think I'm gonna have to replace it once every two weeks. Even, even in pouring rain, it'll probably last just fine. Um, they're surprisingly covered. So we're gonna try it out and maybe this, maybe a constant slow-ish, not anywhere near as strong breeze will work. Um, basically, so I'm going to take the temperature of the water. Previously, it was in the upper hundreds. So, if I can just even get it down into, like, the 90s, that would make my air conditioning so much better. Um, and I think it'll take a while to cool down the water as it runs through. Um, however, even if, if it just gets me, like, a couple degrees colder it'll be worth the 20 bucks and it lasts for a little while um but i'm thinking that that's because i'm gonna have it running constantly that it'll take a long time to get down to temperature but i think once it gets down to temperature it'll it'll be really good so um because it'll be a constant breeze on it i'm hoping that maybe we can get like 80 80 degree temperatures out of it i mean may, maybe 90 you know ambient air temperature at the very least not more because if we can do that, I can turn on one of my other air conditioners. And if I can turn on one of my other air conditioners, that'll work really well. But the real issue here is that it's a $1,500 fan motor. And for probably just a little bit more than that, I can get a whole new unit that's much smaller, much more updated. Um, because this unit is made to cool a, just a crap ton of, of air and it, and it, or of, of water and like I'm talking like 30,000 gallons of water is what this unit is made to cool and it might be having to cool like a thousand gallons if that 
probably more like six or 700 gallons. So the thought is I might be able to use a pool heater and cooler to run the system and keep it cool. So, but that system will probably run 15, 1500 to $2,000, maybe, you know, $3,000. But if that has a five year warranty on it, and it's a much smaller, much better looking system, I might just go with that. But again, people have to call you back. So right now, I'm just gonna head to Walmart. I'm there now, I'm gonna buy a box fan and we're gonna try it out. This one we're gonna go with, guys. 20 inch, and it says the motor is resistant to the environment. Yeah, it's in Spanish, I know. Guys, check this thing out. This is a molded in wide body Porsche. This So I got my fan and I stopped to get a drink at the gas station because I was really hot, really thirsty and my, my water in the truck was cold, cold, hot. So I uh, went up to the cash register and she's like, it's 95 cents. I looked at my wallet and I didn't have any cash. I handed her a card and she just gave me the drink for free. Figure 95 cents, that's awesome. So it's a good day. I got a free, really big soda. Got some lemonade, some Mountain Dew, and some uh, Mountain Dew Kickstart all mixed together. It's gonna get me motivated to get some work done. I got me some chicken strips, and we're gonna go test out my theory on the cooling technique. So, drive home and we'll throw that fan on. Yeah, let's check out this lizard here, like a huge spider. Hey guys. This is our big ProTech cooling tower, 30 ton unit. So, yeah, I'm literally gonna throw that. There's a screen I put on the top. We're gonna throw that on top, plug it in, run it over to a power outlet in the building and see if it works. I'm not sure, there, there's like a huge upflow of hot air that comes through there. I'm not sure that this fan's even gonna be strong enough to push it back down. If it is, that'll be great. So. We'll try. So you guys are gonna laugh. I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about the cooling tower and I'm realizing that I did it backwards. So the way the cooling tower works, obviously the heat rises. So that fan doesn't go against the rising heat, flip it around, it helps the rising heat. So I need to go and flip my fan around because I have it pushing down. So it, it's, it's not working like it's supposed to be working. So. I, I gotta go fix that right now. <laughs> so it turns out I was correct, guys. Um, I had the fan blowing down, which isn't what it's supposed to do. So I am now, I did now go outside and I flipped it around. So it's helping the air to rise, um, pulling essentially the heat out and helping it um, pull the heat up and out faster, which should increase that evaporation factor. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower, go to bed now, and in the morning, we're gonna check and see um, if it's any cooler, because I just felt it with my hand, and it felt, yeah, I'm gonna get technical. It felt like it was about 104 degrees, about like a hot tub. Um, pretty warm, but it's a cool night out, so it's not having to work as hard. So we'll, we'll see what happens in the morning. If it is lukewarm, I will be so happy, because it's hot right now. Um, Cause that means I might be able to run two air conditioners until I decide if I want to upgrade to the bigger fan because the fan that goes on it is like a $1,500 fan. So we'll see you guys in the morning. I guys wanna see something weird. I got all these birds flying a couple feet off the ground. I'm sure they're eating like bugs or something, but it's totally trippy. And then you guys see over there? See that right there? That's a turtle. But really weird. They're just flying around. This is really weird, guys. I've never seen anything like this. I just came outside to check and see what our 
our fan had done and if it was still working well. Well guys, it, it's, it's still hot, I'll be honest, it's still hot. There are cool drops in it now, so I'm thinking it's probably assisting slightly maybe, but uh, I think I'm gonna probably have to break down and go and buy a new unit. Now, I don't think I'm gonna go with the same huge tower. I just, I just don't think it's necessarily needed that much. Um, I'm gonna talk to a couple people about it today and call some places and, and see them, you know, find out. But uh, I, I just don't think it's it's gonna be needed. Um, it's really big for just really cooling off the heat made by three air conditioners. So we'll see. Guys, today is just the day for animals apparently out here. You see the big snake? Maybe. Yep, there it is. So, snake going over there. Birds flying everywhere. Still finding this really crazy. We'll go check on one of the turtles. Tortoises, whatever. See, these birds are still just flying everywhere. Maybe it could be, there seems to be a lot of dragonflies out today. It might be eating the dragonflies. Here we go. Let's check on our tortoise friend. I really need to have him like a collar or something. What up, buddy? I think this is the other one. Pretty cool. Did you guys hear him hissing? It's kind of funny. So, so I guess overall the experiment using a box fan on top of the unit, not a success. I'm gonna keep it up there because I still feel like it's doing something. Um, I think it's helping a little because the room even, the, the air conditioner I have running right now is still cooler than it was yesterday and it, it's already a pretty decently warm morning out. So. I'm gonna call it a at least mild success, but uh, we definitely still have to do some stuff about it because it's, it's not gonna work how it's behaving currently. But I'm thinking these birds are going after these dragonflies because there's like a ton of them out here right now. But either way, guys, um, I'll make another video about when we go and we replace it with another unit or another motor. Um, I did find a unit for about $1,600 which is a full new unit, because I'm pretty sure the guy who put that thing in, it was used, it's old, I'm not sure it's really set up correctly. So uh, other than that, thanks for watching guys, and make sure to like, subscribe, and check back later for more.